machine. We use this machine if you're going to make copies, 19 or less, or a booklet or a multi-page test. You can put your documents up here in the document feeder, or you can also lift the glass if you have a book or anything else you may need to copy. I will tell you, if you have papers, much easier to use the top. So, you're gonna feed your documents up into the top. It's gonna ask for a department code. To make a copy, you're gonna need to put in a department code. For our volunteers, we have set up an easy code. It's just one, two, three, four, five. The control panel is a touch screen, so all you have to do is touch, type in the code, one, two, three, four, five, and then hit okay. The control panel will then light up with all of your options that you need. To make an individual copy, you go up here to where it says sets. You'll type in how many the teacher has requested and then hit the OK button. If a teacher asks for a copy to be made two-sided, you can do that right here where it says simplex. Click the screen. You can go from one to one, one to two, two-sided to two-sided, or two-sided to one-sided, or you can even go from a book. For this one, we're going to click one to two. That means it's from one-sided, and then will now be a two-sided. Click OK. You'll feed it into the document feeder up here, just like the last one, and you'll hit Go. If a teacher asks for you to staple their documents together, you can do that. Right here it says non-sort, non-staple. Click on it, and you can pick where you would like the staple to go. I'm gonna pick upper left. And then we're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna put our number of sets. Let's say, click okay. And then just hit the green button, and you're ready to go. something to be copied on construction paper. You can do that on this machine. You're going to feed your document up into the top just like normal. You're going to take your construction paper and you're going to put it in this drawer right here on the right of this door that's the bypass feed. So you're going to stick your paper in the bypass feed. When copying on construction paper, you're going to put your paper down here in the bypass tray. You're going to, it's going to say, click on bypass feed. You're gonna click thick paper and hit OK. Hit OK again. Tell how many sets you need. If you only need one, there's one. And then hit the green button. All right, if a teacher asks for a copy from a book, so let's say they've asked for page like 87 here, you're gonna open the book, you're gonna open the glass, and you're gonna to wanna to line it up into the corner of the glass and bring it down. It will not go all the way down. That is okay, it'll still print. And all you have to do is put how many sets you need and then hit go and you're good to go. If a teacher has asked you to zoom in on one of their documents or shrink one of their documents, you can do that right up here where it says zoom. Click on this button and then you're just gonna hit the arrows down to whatever they ask. Majority of time, it's usually like 80% because they want to put it inside a notebook. You'll just feed it again through the document feeder and push go and you're ready to go.